weekly feng shui astrology and auspicious timing tip. Today, I believe the world woke up to a very different reality. The 2016 presidential election will go down in history as probably one of the most memorable milestones events of the United States. Some are numb with disbelief, while others are absolutely elated in the change for our establishment. So there's so much I can go into, honestly, about the astrology of both candidates, which I actually did speak about on my show on September 28th. So you can go actually back into those archives and listen to that information. And it's still really, really valid today. And I highly recommend you go back and listen to it. It'll give you a little bit of idea on how I work with my clients with astrology as well. But the popular vote for Clinton, she won that, that was clear, but that's not what elects a president in the United States. It's the delegates and their message was clear. Trump won by an unprecedented landslide. So what I wanna discuss here with you today is looking at a fresh start. What should you do when you're faced with adversity, uncertainty, because our lives, whether some good event or bad event happen, it's gonna change and shifts happen in our life, and so how are we gonna deal with that? So if you're feeling happy and elated today, you're riding a high, so do take care of your adrenals because what goes up absolutely does come down. And if you're feeling down, then you're probably sinking into a deep depression of some level or another, but just also know what's on the bottom the only way up is to the top. So these are really the laws of the universe and the principles of yin and yang. And what, you know, finding that natural order of balance in the world, ideally, that's what we want in our lives for ourselves as well. So whether you're feeling elated or bummed today, in both cases, your personal astrology can help you remain in balance, which is really what we're trying to accomplish here today. So let's explore ways that you can help yourself through the information in your birth chart. You can grab your free chart at www.freebusinessastrology.com and enter in your birth information. Now I want you to look at the bottom of the chart. There's gonna be some personal power directions and you wanna find the health direction in the table. Now, once you know what that direction is, this is gonna be east, south, north, whatever is for you because it's unique to you, there's a couple of different ways that you're gonna be able to use that. When you're sitting or standing, you're, that's when your health direction is gonna help you tap into your personal vibrancy. Now the health direction is also very unique because it helps you dissolve obstacles, whether it's in your mind or it is a true business obstacle that you need to resolve. So that direction can be quite beneficial to you. Now, in addition, I also want to have you look at certain elements in your astrology chart. And then this part, we're going to be looking at the top part of the chart called the natal chart. So there's just four pillars, the year, month, day, and hour. So what we're going to be looking for is the water and metal elements in your chart. Now, you're going to need both for this setup that I'm just about to tell you. Now, they're depicted by the colors blue or gray in the astrology chart. It's color-coded if you're using my software to download your chart. But these two elements, water and metal, this means that you are naturally intuitive and you can follow your gut. Now, the reason this attribute is so important after coming off such an intense 18 months of contentious campaigning is that you know if you're one of the fortunate ones with water and metal in your chart you can tap into the universe and ask for guidance for about whatever you want to find your most vibrant messages and balance and you know the universe is there really to support you now that's not to say that we all can't look to the heavens for advice it's just super easy for those who have water and metal now in addition if you have a lot of red in your natal chart, which means you have a lot of the fire element in your chart. Now, fire in Chinese metaphysics de depicts spirituality, and so it's going to really actually be easier for you also to tap into that universal force to be a benefit for you. Now, for those of you who don't have metal and water and you don't have a fire element in your chart, let me tell you about another event in history that impacted my life, and that was 
I was a total news junkie and I was glued to the TV day and night and I just sunk deeper and deeper into depression. And I remember an interview by a Stanford professor, and I'm sorry I can't remember his name to give credit to this comment that I'm about to make, but he was interviewed by a San Francisco television channel and the newscaster asked him, what should parents tell their children for this you know event that just happened like how can we explain this to them stoically the professor said and he looked directly in the count into the camera and said turn off the tv now you've seen these towers blow up thousands of times stop watching that kind of news not like the news on voice america where you can get some really profound educational and and thought-provoking uh, coverage but you know this type of coverage it's just too much for your sensibilities turn off the TV and he was right so I got up and I turned off the TV after looking at it for days and weeks because that's all that was on television and that's all that was on the news wires but anyway when I when I did that I, I found out something really quite profound I found that America rallied together and we became stronger than I've ever seen in my lifetime so our, you know, our nation has been hit with a saturation point, it's clear. And it's time to get fully back into our lives. And you need to look at this tipping point of, of what's happening to yourself and how that you can take this as an opportunity to reinvent yourself with passion and vigor like never before. Before this election, I was a very proud American. Today, I stand with fire under me to be the best person, wife, friend, consultant, colleague, and whatever other roles that I have in my life that I can possibly be. So my tip for you today is this, find your balance through your health directions, find what ignites you in your heart and stand proud in what you do. And of course, as an added bonus, if you have some of the five elements in your chart, chart to tap into that universal flow, such as water and metal and the fire elements in your chart, ask the universe to dial up your intuition and spirituality so your unique path to greatness can be accomplished. And the time for that is really now. So I thank you today for spending some time with, with me. I really do appreciate your listening and please contact me if you do have any questions about feng shui, astrology, or auspicious, auspicious timing. I would be delighted to answer those for you and you can reach me at 5elementsgroup.com. I look forward to seeing you next time on Illuminating Feng Shui and until next week, make good chi follow.